Welcome back to Jackson Square. Today we're going to look at what can it be? How we can use our estimation skills and our reasonability to figure out what a tape diagram can represent. So I'm going to teach you how you can learn or how you can estimate a range of what your answer could be. So let's look into this first problem. First of all, we see that it's broken into two sections. So that means it's broken into halves. We see that more than one section is shaded, right? And part of the sec second section is shaded. We know that half would represent 50%. We know that more than 0% is shaded, but we know that less than 100% is shaded. What could this be? What percentage could this possibly be? So we want to create a range, like I said. So we know if we had a multiple choice list, we would know that our answer has to be greater than 50%, but less than 100%. We want to make sure that our answer is reasonable. Could this shaded section represent 90%? No. Could it represent 30%? Definitely not. Could it represent about 70? Maybe. So we want to make sure that we're having reasonability when we're choosing our answer. Now, what if I gave you this piece? Would this help you? Sorry. Would this help you have a, let's see, would this help you gauge your answer better? Would it help you to narrow down your answer better? better better let's look at it so the next part underneath it is broken into how many sections three four five six seven eight into eights okay so if we know anything about our eights we know that each one of these sections is about 12 percent so how many would be shaded if we measured up one two three four five five eights so if you've been studying and paying attention, you know that 5 eighths represents 62.5%. So 62.5%, 62.5%, that is greater than 50%, but less than 100%. So our answer, our choice that we had before, if we said something in that range, 62.5% is a reasonable choice, okay? What about this one? Let's take a look. What can it be? First, look at how many sections. We see one, two, three, four. So it's broken into fourths. If we know it's broken into fourths, each one of these boxes represents 25%, right? Well, we can see that one box is shaded and part of a second box is shaded. So if that one box is shaded, that one portion represents here 25%. Okay. We know that more than 0% is shaded. And I think it's reasonable to say that less than 100% is shaded, right? 100% is definitely not shaded. We can also say less than 75% is shaded. And here, this is 50%. So based on that, we start getting our range. Our answer has to be what? Greater than 25, but less than 50. So somewhere in there, could our answer be 30, 40%? Could it be 47.9%? It could. What's not reasonable? 99%. 80%, 13%. Those are not reasonable answers, okay? So we know that our answer has to be greater than 25, but less than 50. See, I put a range in here for you. My answer has to be greater than here, 25, but less than here. So somewhere in here, if we have multiple choice, we would be looking for an answer that seemed reasonable. Now, what if I gave you this part? So take your time and count how many sections that is, okay? So when you count, hopefully you got that it was 16. So then we can say one, two, three, 
four, five. Five out of 16 is shaded. Five sixteenths is shaded. If you wanted to go into depth, you could do T-bow and figure out, um, you know, what each, what is five sixteenths, what percent that is to be really specific if you want it to be specific. So because it's 16 boxes, you would take 100% and divide it. So you would take 100%. Sorry, guys. I'm writing with a mouse. You would take 100% and divide it by 16 boxes. That will give you what each box represents. So each box represents about 6%, okay? And I said that I had one, two, three, four, five shaded. So five times six is about 30%. So if you wanted to be really accurate, this would represent, the shaded portion represents, actually, it represents 31.25%. Thirty one point two five percent. OK, so that is in our range. Right. We said greater than twenty five, but less than 50. So thirty one percent is in that range. So what can it be? Let's have some reasonability when we're figuring out what it can be. Here's another one. I'll give you a second. Look at it. How many sections do you see? What percentage is each section? How much is shaded? What are some reasonable guesses of the percentage that this could be? So my first observation is it's broken into three sections, right? Two thirds. I know that more than 0% is shaded, right? More than 0% is shaded. I know that less than 100% is shaded because this is 100%. If it's broken in the thirds, I know that each section represents 33.3%. So this line right here will represent 33%. This line will represent 66%. So my shaded portion is in between these two. So my answer has to be greater than 33, but less than 66. So within that window, between 33 to 66. So again, if I have a multiple choice, I'm looking for a percentage that's in that range. But also, if you take a second to look, it looks about, I know I have a third over here that's unshaded, a third that's shaded, and then that middle box, Seems like that shaded portion is right down the middle. So I'm going to guess that 50% of this is shaded. 50, I think it's 50%. So let's see our comparison. What? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, right? And three out of six would match up to be shaded. So three out of six is one half. So we were right on with our guess if you said that half was shaded. And again, half is what? It's in our range. 50% is definitely in our range of that 33 but 66. So 50% is shaded. Awesome. I think we're getting good at this. Okay. What can it be? Take a second, look at it. How many sections? How much is shaded? How much would each section represent? Can you create and come up with a range? Give me a range. Where do you think that answer would fit? Where's that window, that box? It has to be more than this, but less than this. What's a range? What are some reasonable choices? Is it reasonable to say that 10% is shaded? Is it reasonable to say that 90% is shaded? What's a reasonable answer? Okay. 
So the first thing I observe is one, two, three, four, five. That is broken into fifths. And just like we know with our fifths here, and I do have my hand here, we know that each one of these represents 20%, right? So if each one of these is 20%, I know that this is 20, this would be 40%. This next line would be 60%, okay? This is 80%. So just based on that, I can start getting, I can get my range, right? My answer has to be greater than 60, but less than 80. Greater than 60, but less than 80. So looking at that, it could be 62%, 63 I wouldn't say 65, I definitely wouldn't say 70, right? So we have a window. If you have multiple choice answers, you can look at this and say, it should be greater than this, but less than that. So let's see if we pull up our second part, if we can get real specific. Okay, so how many boxes? 10, so 10. The 100% divided by 10 is what? 10. So each one of these boxes is 10%. If we lined it up, how much is shaded? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then, let me get my pencil. So let's say we drew a little line here. So this will represent the box. So this looks like what? Not perfect, but about half of that box is shaded. So um, 65%, I know I said it probably isn't 65%, I think I said that, but it is 65%. So it's um, half of one of those tenth boxes. So six of them are shaded and half of the other one. So that would make 65%. So again, that's in our range, greater than 60, but less than 80. 65% is shaded. So I hope that you guys are getting a hang, the hang of this, and it's making sense of how to figure out what it is. What can it be? What can this be? Look at the sections. Look at our benchmarks or our estimation points. We know it's greater than zero. We know it's less than 100. We know it's greater than 50. What could our range be here? So what do you think? What do you think it is? Do you think it's 70, 80, 90, 82.3? What can it be? Give me your best guess. What do you think that this is? Well, this is our last one. We don't have a comparison, but I think that you guys got it under control. Good luck and let's practice.